Miranda? Arnaud? Uh, uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, sweetie. Health is uh, when you're not, when you're not sick. Okay. And, in, and you are in perfect state. Very good. Lock your microphone, hand down, very good. Let's see what, what else could, could tell me something else. Abraham, go ahead. Abraham. Okay. And is the, is about of your, with, and it's about with you are healthy. Okay, when you're healthy. So pretty much what uh, Miranda said. Very good. Something, somebody that has something different. Matias, you have something different? Ninoska, microphone, please. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Health is the way and you are in... No, teacher, I, I don't know. Okay, you don't have anything different. But yes, you guys are right, okay? Health is the state of being good. When your body feels good, yes, when you, you're healthy, you don't have any coughing, uh, fever, um, sore throat, any pain, any ache, you are doing awesome. And that's health. Yes, it is. But health is not only uh, being healthy, uh, like in your body, uh, physically buddy but there's some other aspects of the health that makes you healthy uh, by the way Sebastian you're eating sweetie you should not be eating at this time For, okay let, let me pause a little bit in your name okay you should have what grade are you in like 4c 4a okay you have to write your last name in capital. I mean, your first letter in capital and your name. So I know who is. Because I see Sebastian Whitey. Who are you? I don't know who you are. What's your last name, sweetie? And you turn off your camera now. So I need to be able to see who am I speaking with. Okay? All right. Let's continue. So not only, Ivana, please, your microphone is on. Ivana Guerra. Uh, not, not only it's your body and if you don't have fever, temperature, whatever, but it, it, it is a little bit like more, okay? So we're going to talk about that. Today, there's no homework. We're only, we're only going to talk about this. No homework today or not activity about this class. We're going to have that activity next week, okay? Because we're gonna, I'm going to divide the classes, the class in two. Already, so we're gonna see the presentation. It's very short presentation, but it's gonna explain a little bit what is the teacher talking about. Yeah, let's see. Can you guys see it? Can you see the presentation? Anybody? Yes. Okay. Teacher, it oh, says. Teacher. Oh, teacher. teacher. Yes. Okay. Oh, teacher. teacher. Now. But I know this. Now. Okay. Alrighty. So teacher, I, have... I can see the presentation. Good. Thank you. Love your microphones again. Okey doke. We're trying the computer. Good. So what is health? And look at this pretty picture of kit playing and running around, they look healthy, right? They look they just amazingly good. And that's excellent. That's the way everybody should be, to feel healthy. But we have here that being healthy, sorry, wait, 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 wait. Means having a healthy mind, feelings, and healthy relationship. What does that mean, teacher? Well, in order for you to be healthy, right? You have to be good and healthy in your mind. What does that mean? What, who, do, who thinks what that means? Who, who, who wants to tell me about what am I talking about? Valeria Chapayin, you raise your hand. 
Oh, Carlos Lindorf, go ahead. What is this about? You're not feeling sad or overwhelmed. And, okay. Or weak, exactly. monthly. Okay. And you get along with others, yes? So that means healthy relationship, healthy mind, and healthy feelings. If you feel good in your body, but also in your mind and with everybody else, it means you're a healthy person, okay? It's just a compound of all these things. Very good. Okay, uh-huh. The three parts of the health are physical health. That is the health that has to be with your body. Okay, so when you go, you exercise, you eat healthy, you uh, you will go bed early and you rest a lot. So that means your your body is in good shape and you feel good physically. Yes? Questions up to here? No. Okay. Number two, we have emotional and intellectual health. Is the health of the mind having to do with feelings? and thoughts. If you feel uh, sad or you feel like um, Carlos said, overwhelmed, or you feel like oh, very sad because you're in the lockdown because of the quarantine. So it means your intellectual, your mental health is not good. You have to look for help, okay? You need to uh, talk to somebody, talk to your parents, talk to a big sister, talk to your teachers, okay? and it will, will help you to feel better in that matter. Um, and then we have social health. The health having to do with the relationships with other people, okay? It's how you get along with, how you get along with your neighbor, how you get along with your sister, how you get along with your classmates, okay? That's it. It has to be everything all to working together perfectly in order to be a healthful or a healthy person. I see there. Ha I have four people with their hands raised up. Who? Uh -huh. Let's see who's the first one. Marianne, please. Because I cannot see nobody. Before I continue, Sebastián Alejo, you are still eating and the teacher told you not to. What's wrong with the with following instructions? I know he left. Please don't do it again. Yeah. And Isabel, Isabel Soto wants to talk. Isabel Soto wants to. Okay, Isabel, say go ahead. I want to ask if we're going to have homework of this no. one. No, I said no, not today. Next we're week. We're not going to have homework gone. No, not okay. today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Minosca Carballo. Ninosca Carvalho, teacher. Ninosca, go ahead. Well, I my computer says that I can I cannot turn on the camera, but I don't know why. But well, sometimes I so, don't worry, sweetie. I mean, try to turn it on and leave it on. Sometimes the internet connection is not is not. Too. It's not working good, okay? Sometimes it happens. So don't worry, just leave it on. And we know that whenever your internet starts working, you it's going to show your pretty face there, okay? So don't worry. Any other questions? No. Nobody uh -huh. else so far, teacher. Okay, good, thank you. Let's continue then. Alrighty, so staying healthy. How do we stay healthy? Hmm. Knowing how your body works and how to take care of it with it will affect your physical health. For example, who can give me an example of how you know your body and what does your body need? Who can give me an example of it? Let's see. I have two hands. Who are those hands? Well, I have three. Now, go ahead. Maria. Yes, t Matias, teacher. Okay, Matias. Matias. Matias, the uh -huh. body needs um, um, eat um, water, mm -hmm. oxygen, and to make exercise. And okay. Very good. So far, so good. Very good. Yes, what our body needs. We need to be uh, 
we need to eat right because from the food we get the energies we our energy okay we get the nutrients our body needs to stay healthy very good we need to exercise what happens if we stay doing nothing we're gonna be a potato couch we don't want to do that okay because then our health is going to be uh, deteriorating and we're gonna start having problems with the like blood pressure sugar uh, heart diseases and all this that is not good for your body okay so that's why we have to know how to work and how to stay healthy in our body okay good next using your mind to learn new things will affect your intellectual health what are we doing right now? We're learning something new. Yes, we're, we're probably refreshing uh, things that you already know, but we're learning something new. We're adding that health is not only feeling good and not having fever or coughing, but, or cough, sorry, but we're, it's another thing we're, at. we're adding to your brain, to your knowledge, that is, that not, it's not only being physically good, but it's just a whole bunch of things that needs to be hand to hand in order to be a helpful person, yes? So you're learn, learning new languages, learning new things about, I don't know, if you like outer space or you like to know more about um, dinosaurs or how the world was created. So all those things that you, you read and you learn that will help you to be uh, uh, to to have better mental health, okay? And then we have understanding your feelings will affect your emotional and social health. In this case, it's like recognizing: um, Do I feel sad? Am I happy? Am I angry? It's going to happen to you guys that you're getting into adolescence, which is awful. Oh my God, it's awful. Even though it's beautiful, because you're going to know, you're going to experiment more things. You're going to start learning new things about yourself. But at this stage of your ages, you probably are going to be sad with no reason. Or you're going to be angry at somebody with no reason. Or you just don't want to talk to nobody and you're locked down in your room with no reason. And you probably say, why am I angry? Oh, why am I here? I need to, you know, talk to people. I need to be outside. So it's going to happen to you. But you need to understand that it's going to happen to you and how to solve this issue, okay? That's it. Let's talk about it a little bit. Let me uh, go with you guys. Here I am. Here you are. Aha. Who can tell me? Uh, oh, Maria Paula, you have a question. Sorry, your hand is up. Okay. I have two questions. Sure. Mm -hmm. Aha. One, that my sister is angry with old people and it's there. Yeah. Oh, and there. how old and is your sister? She done. And sir.